Well, joining me now is Alpesh Patel, the CEO of Prifinium uh, Partners. Alpal, really good to talk to you. Many thanks for joining me uh, this morning. Um, Thank you. The market reaction to Powell, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, initially, there was this surge on the US markets. Then in Asia overnight, we've seen a retreat. Does that sort of reflect overall reaction to Jerome Powell? What do you make of it? Is he the safe choice? No, I think beforehand there was a case of buying the rumor and selling the fact, taking some of the profits. And, you know, they're approaching Thanksgiving as well in the US and uh, at all time highs. What a bumper windfall. Uh, people in my industry, the asset management industry and the man and woman on the street who has invested in the stock market has been having through their pensions or otherwise. So I think it's fair enough to take a bit of money off the table once you know that you've got this continuity and this good news. Uh, Lael Brownard, let's talk about her. She was also in the running. Many don't know that much about her. What's her background? Well, she's been around for quite a while. Um, she's a renowned academic, uh, but also she served originally under Obama. And so there is this, uh, this longevity in dealing with the Fed uh, and also dealing with the White House. So that's a positive. She also appeals to the Elizabeth Warren types, the sort of you know, for American politics, the extreme left, virtually. Uh, uh, and so they'll be happy, given that if you're going to keep a Republican like Powell, you better make both sides happy. So that's good. She's seen as somebody who's potentially anti-bank. You might want to sell the dollar, though, because she is slightly left of center. Uh, there could be uh, uh, there could be a, a bit of a loss of confidence in, in the U.S. markets that they'll take the kind of hawkish steps, the aggressive steps they need to do, and she'll sort of temper back Powell's um, instinct to raise rates. You might be a bit slower on that because, like she said, she's concerned about the working man and woman. She won't want to see their mortgages rise too quickly. And therefore, if interest rates are not going to rise as quickly, then uh, you might want to be selling the dollar from a macroeconomic perspective. So, yeah, l left of center. But it's very much for Biden. The great news is it's Powell's Fed, not Biden's. So Biden can say, look, that part wasn't my fault. Interesting, interesting analysis there. I just want to pick apart a little bit of what you were saying. Let's talk about the job at hand now, the U.S. economy. Inflation is the big story, of course, on that front. Uh, the cost of living rising faster than it has for three decades in the U.S. Uh, interest rates, you mentioned then, that is normally raising them, normally the response to rising inflation. The U.S. Federal Reserve, which is in charge of that, has hinted that it's in no great rush to do it, that it believes it's a transitionary process. President Biden Biden, though, has said that tackling inflation, which is affecting all sectors of the U.S. economy, is his top priority. Do you think that the numbers that have come out on U.S. inflation will put increasing pressure on the Fed to act sooner than perhaps they might wish? They've got several problems. They've got very little uh, they can do in one regard, because if they start raising rates a bit too quickly, then it could panic the markets. It could panic uh, uh, the, the broader economy. That's one problem. So they've got to do it slowly, but if they don't do it quick enough, then the problem becomes worse. They could cut back on this bond buying. The, the balance sheet of the Fed, and think of that as printing money, the, the balance sheet of the Fed has doubled in the last two years. That is a greater response as a proportion of GDP than the financial crisis of 2008. And you might say, well, that's fine because the Americans are obsessed with growth and they wanted a V-shaped recovery and that was Powell's job and he's done it. But if they ease back on that too quickly, then panic. If they do it too slowly, it just means great inflation. But look at the positives. Inflation is really being caused by transportation costs, which are also a component of energy price rises. Well, we've had energy prices higher than these levels before, and the market tends to self-correct. Also, it's not generally the food in your basket which is uh, uh, increasing, or at least you can substitute some of that away. The fixed costs such as energy or rent, you can't substitute away yeah but the the cost of your food basket might not impact people as much as the headline figures seem to suggest so alpesh we're going to have to leave it there but many many thanks for talking us through all of that alpesh patel there the ceo of uh, prifinium partners many thanks Thank you. Uh, to china now.